How you doing, Real Motivation? Terrence McKinney back with a new video. Uh, today's video is going to be straight from the heart. It's going to be similar to my last video. And once again, I want to apologize to all my subscribers about the lack of uh, content that I put out there in the last couple of months. I've been finishing up some projects on my other end, and I haven't been giving my channel the time that it needs. So once again, I apologize about that. But today I'm here to feed your spirit and I'm going to be dropping a lot more videos uh, at least weekly and every week I'm going to be feeding your spirit and today I want to talk about uh, the greatest book I ever read. Uh, I made this channel maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago and the purpose of me making this channel was to enlighten people like me with background similar towards mine and not only that but everybody who wants to subscribe to the channel but I I really had an intent to to motivate people who you know was from the streets or who have been in rough circumstances and I wanted them to hear the message from somebody who actually looked like them when I first started this channel uh, I probably was reading book after book after book. Uh, I say in the last year and a half, the last two years, I probably read over 60 books. I probably read Think and Grow Rich maybe at least five times. I done read all the, the top selling books, that motivational books, over and over and over and over. I even got some of the books here that I, that I actually read. I read A, a Whole New Mind by Daniel H. Pink. I read Resist Happiness by Matthew Kelly. I read Unlimited Power by Anthony Robbins, and that's Tony Robbins. And I done probably read like four different books by Tony Robbins. He a real good author. I read uh, The Art of Public Speaking by Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie is another one uh, like Napoleon Hill where I done maybe read like at least three to four different books by him. I read Living with Monks by Jess Lee Isler, and I, and I also, I read a couple of books by him, and I got tons of books by guys that got YouTube channels, uh, Dan Locke, uh, I done read 50 Cent books, I done read, uh, all the guys from Shark Tank books, I, I done read a lot of books in the last year and a half, uh, just trying to get my mind focused and centered on the right things. But to be honest with you, the book that I was neglecting the most is this. This is a book I guarantee like 60 to 70 percent of us got in our house just laying on a bookshelf or or somewhere out of sight, out of mind. Probably got dust on it. And when I was when I first started reading uh, all these books, I was doing it backwards. I, I would probably always I would probably read maybe 15 minutes a day in the Bible and probably read uh, an hour out of any one of these books and not only was I reading out of these books I'd be reading one book but I'd be listening to another book on audio so I was getting a lot of information in and I was doing it backwards to be, 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 to be completely honest with you I was spending more time reading books written by men than reading the, the most famous book in the world that was written and inspired by God and so once I flipped it and I started spending more time in the Holy Bible instead of reading books written by men, I, I seen a total change in my life. And to be honest with you, it's not nothing in those 60 books that's not written in the Bible. I mean, if you want happiness, the Bible will tell you about happiness. If you want help in your relationships, the Bible will tell you about helping your relationships. If you want wisdom, the Bible will tell you how to get wisdom. If you want statues and laws to live by, the Bible will tell you how to give you statues and laws to live by. If you want prosperity, the Bible will tell you how to get prosperity, but not even prosperity in this life, but prosperity in, in the afterlife. Is nothing can compare to this book right here. And most of us have it in our house, but we never pick it up and we never read it. We might read a scripture here and there when we going through something or we might read the scripture when we in church or we wherever we at studying with uh, people who got the same faith as us. But most of us don't. 
pick it up and read it from Genesis to uh, uh, Revelations. Like, so that's where we're going wrong. And I know sometimes we, we get intimidated by the way it's written and we might read it and we might not understand it. You know why? Because that's because we're not reading it enough. And when you, the Bible is a book, is one of those books that you can't just read one time and put it down. No. Once you read it, you start over. Once you start in Genesis and you get to the last page, you start over. And you start over. And the more you read, the more you're going to come to understand it. And the more you read it, the more stuff is going to be revealed to you. It's, it's like a, a book full of secrets and a book full of prophecies there. And the times that we in right now, and when you turn on the news and the world news or even the local news, and you see all this stuff going on that's, that seems like it's out of your control, that lets you know more that you need to pick up this book right here so you can understand what time it is and you can understand what's going on. Don't no book that any man out here wrote compared to what's in the Bible. No matter what you're going through, it's going to set you straight and it's not it's gonna feed your soul it's gonna feed your spirit it's gonna give you a, a different feeling once you start to read it and once you start to understand it and there's even a scripture in there saying study to show yourself approved that means the more you read the more it's gonna be revealed to you and so you gotta uh dig into this book and read it i mean if, if you having any problems in your life and you and you don't read like me 60 books in the last year and you feel like you still haven't gained a lot of ground pick up this book right here and, and dig into this book like you dig into anything else and in today's times i think it's it's more more president that we get into the bible and we start trying to figure out like what's going to happen to us what what, what we're going through and how we going to get through it so real motivation spread this video like it comment and if you think i'm wrong then just pick it up and read it for yourself and see what and see what you can get from it i mean if you think that it, 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 it ain't gonna help you i challenge you I challenge you to pick it up and read it. And I challenge you to pick it up and read it, you know, from Genesis to the Revelations. And, and, and see, don't, by the time you get to, get to the end of that book, you're going to be understanding more and more and more and more and more and more and more. And, it's, and the Spirit going to actually be in you to actually want to start over so you can get a better understanding. So, real motivation. Have a great day.